Superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Division, arguably the best submission artist in this division at present, and he believes he's going to be able to get this fight to the floor rather easily here tonight. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Aspinall. High velocity elbow is blocked. Ooh, nice up cut from the champ. a big right hand but doesn't find its home. <laughs> nice jab by Aspinall. What a nasty kick that was going with ill intent. Take down 
defense holds up. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh! Fast leg kick lands. Takedown defense is there. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, his cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. One takedown is easier to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guards. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Aspinall gets touched by that kick there. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Throwing that jab, no good. But ain't his eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Just over two minutes now to go. Punch there again, been there all night. It won't take many of those. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. You see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, nice takedown defense. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Aspinall's now dealing with a cheek cut. One minute to go here in the opening round. Great commitment to the kicking game. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, big elbow. the team. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Like yes, the it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it. But of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight. Ready. Second Ready. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. All right, well, that 
Mo is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh! Oh, body shot. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Unable to connect them. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the day. Just misses there with the left. Oh! oh, he's in real trouble now. That one landed clean. Head kick partially blocked. Stuff to take down, no problem. Aspinall's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Submission locked in, he's in real trouble. He's gonna take off on here. Oh, well, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how pinched he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Aspinall's in half guard. There it is, now he's running him out. Alex Pineda getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Nice positional control here. Oh, pinpoint right ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Aspinall is going for the sub here. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's really advanced now. Looks like he's going to get finished. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside to show in that defense. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between them. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Back to his feet. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh my goodness! Aspinall's eye is closing up. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. 
Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd, obviously. Oh! Oh, big left. Boom. Big jump. Oh. There he go. Back to his feet. There you go. There you go. He's going after that cut over and over again. And every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack with arm triangle. Oh my goodness, cut out. Neil Billings. Good work from the top here by Asper. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Now he's going full mount. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's... Look at that, going into the arm bar. Oh, it's getting deep. Good arm bar attempt here. What he's got to do now is just be very aggressive to try to finish this fight. Oh, that was in trouble. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submission or big ground and pound. Pineda's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Espinal. Let's go. This is where he wants to be. He's isolated an arm. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. now making all these shots count now inside the closed guard and he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission but is looking to pass here denied by the opponent under two minutes to go in the round Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Aspinall. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it. Eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And wow. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. He's got to start throwing down. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, 
Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Aspinall's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Submission defense was able to take his arm out and stay safe. What a round. Stop, stop, All right, there's the horn, stop. and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these champions. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Quick jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. He passes the half guard. The swelling just keeps getting worse, and his opponent just keeps attacking it. That is the right way to approach a fight. Aspinall's back in half guard. That was a slick transition. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. <laughs> Takes his back now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Aspinall's in half guard. Oh, right into Maul. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Aspinall's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep... Oh! Her bad. Oh, this could just about do it. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Another one. Oh, he's hurt bad. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started. Oh, that'll do it! Alex Pineda gets the finish! Oh, my goodness.
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hoatai. All right, so it is Alex Pereira by knockout. Get used to hearing that.